Hey everyone, today I will show you how you can moderate your social wall, which has a lot of nice content, but if there is one or two posts in there that you do not like, then let me show you how you can get rid of them in real time. Let's jump right in and check it out. All right, let's say we have a wall here on the left side that aggregates all the posts from Instagram and Twitter that have the hashtag of coffee. And on the right side, I have the moderation of that same wall opened already, clicked on moderation, and I'm looking at the posts in the moderation view, where I can decide to hide certain posts and do other things, which I wanna show you today. Whenever I find a post on the wall that I don't like, I go into my moderation like here, find that post, and I simply click the hide button to get rid of it. It will be removed in real time and the user doesn't have to do anything for that to work. Let's say I want to hide another post, but this time instead of searching it myself by scrolling, I will search for it by the keywords in here. So I just copy a few of those words, copy paste into the search box, press enter and I find that post in moderation and immediately I can get rid of it. Don't forget that you can filter posts in moderation based on their visibility, from which network they're coming from, and the type of post. So for example, I have some posts here that got hidden automatically. I will show you later on how and why, so stick around. And I can say that I wanna see only posts that remained visible, so I can look through those, and maybe I hide some of those myself that I don't like. I can also choose to show only posts from, let's say, Instagram, and it knows that I'm only aggregating posts from Instagram and Twitter, so that's why I don't see the other networks here. But of course, there are many more networks you can use to aggregate posts from. But that is a topic for another video. On Walls.io, you can also invite third parties or colleagues to help you moderate your wall by clicking here on the admins and moderators feature and choosing the role to give them. In this case, it's the role of moderator. Type in their email and add them to your list. In the language filter menu, you can choose to show posts that we have detected as having English language inside. You can also choose, of course, many other languages here from the list. And that helps you to make sure the posts that your audience see are the language that they can understand. So in this case, I have English. That's why you only see posts with English language. And I also have chosen to not show posts where the language is not clearly detectable. You can also take advantage of our spam filter. In this case, it is set up to default but it doesn't do anything yet. Why is that? Because you have to use it first. So go to your posts and make sure to click on the report spam button on all the posts that you think are spam. But you don't need to do this forever because the algorithm will learn and it will detect spammy posts automatically in the future. So why is it not happening automatically from the beginning? Well, that is because spam is very different depending on the wall. An e-commerce wall or a wall when you want to sell something, it's absolutely fine to contain words like buy now, last chance, rebate and stuff like that. Whereas on a more artistic wall or a brand wall, you might not want this kind of content. So make sure to use the report spam button to train the algorithm for each of your walls so that it can help you in the future. Moving on to the next section where you can decide if newly arrived posts will be shown automatically on your wall or if you want to moderate each and every post before they go onto your wall. The automatic option is good if you trust the content that's coming in. For example, at events, when you have your event hashtag and most of the content that you expect coming in will be talking about the event and it will be high quality. But if you're afraid that some posts might not be great and you really have a high class event or uh, it's on your website, then you might want to use the manual moderation feature and you might also want to put whitelisted words here. When they are contained in the posts, the posts are automatically allowed and visible on the wall. So you can make sure to put some keywords or some kind of hidden secret words in your posts, which only you know about. But if they are in the post, they will be shown automatically onto your wall. You can do the same in the automatic mode, but it's the other way around. Instead of a whitelist, it's a blacklist. So you allow everything unless it contains any of the words that you put into this list. And we don't leave you alone here to figure out all the bad words. We have a predefined list of not so great words 
that shouldn't be in your posts. Any posts containing those words will be automatically hidden for you. And of course, you can add your own words to the list. And don't forget to press the save button. Last but not least, you can export all of your posts in these formats. This is helpful if you already have processes where you need the content to be in, let's say, Microsoft Excel, so you can continue with the existing workflow that you have. So we have you covered. All right, cool. I hope this was helpful. Stay tuned, click subscribe to get more content like this. We will release videos regularly on how the market evolves on user-generated content and social media aggregation, but also, of course, on new Walls.io features. Stay tuned and see you next time.